Be careful with me. Mm. Do you know what you're doing? Whose feelings that you hurting and bruising? You gon' gain the whole world, but is it worth the girl that you losing? Be careful with me. Yeah, it's not a threat, it's a warning. Be careful with me. Yeah, my heart is like a package with a fragile label on it. Be careful with me. Welcome to Alasia Smith School Tips. For more information, you can follow me on all my social medias, Snapchat, Instagram, and Facebook. Enjoy this video, like, comment, and subscribe. And all my BBWs, keep slaying. Alright, enjoy the video. It's Freaky Friday, and I'ma take your man. <laughs> What's poppin'? Tell my lady, a squad. Ow. What's up, y'all? How everybody doing on this nice, lovely Friday? So today's video is going to be about high school tips. What and what not to do and how to be successful. So, I'm just gonna jump right into this video. I really don't want this video to be long because there's really not that much you need to know about high school, but it is a few things that, you know, y'all incoming freshmen need to know because freshmen, I mean, I said freshmen, high school and elementary, two different things. And I got y'all. So the first thing is when you go to high school, know everybody not your friend number one thing no everybody is not your friend your friends that was your friends in elementary is not gonna be there with you like you have to accept the fact that now that you're in high school you basically on your own you are responsible for the things that you have to do you're responsible for everything you're you are responsible for you in high school so do not depend on your friends do not depend on you know basically with high school you just gotta go with the flow and make the best out of nothing because i mean that's just what you have to do and number two number two is make sure you keep up with your work like i know me i need to take my own advice but sometimes like with um high school like sometimes i'll be like okay well it's not due till next monday or it's not due till next tuesday so i just set it off if you know you do not have nothing else better to do just finish it because you don't want to get this big like you know like the work just keeps piling up so you don't want to get like all this work piled up because it's just a lot of stress and you don't need that so if the teacher assigned it that day and you know you don't got nothing to do just do it just knock it out boom 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 knock it out and you'll be done um number two never get caught up with like in high school you're gonna have like a few boys that you know try to like approach you and stuff but never let a boy or friends take you off of what you go there to do you go to high school you go there to do your work to go to the next grade and eventually graduate to go on to college or do whatever you want to do after high school but your main goal in high school is to graduate your main goal in high school is to get good grades and your main goal in high school is to do whatever you doing to go to school to learn duh so don't let a boy take you off your your grind and i know like it's a lot of distractions in high school trust me it is a lot of distractions in high school it's a lot of like drama like girls it'll be girls that's trying to try you girls that's jealous of you it's so many people in high school that's going to try to take your mind off of you have a goal you have like a role that you're following and you have you know a goal and your vision like don't let anyone blur your vision you have a vision you want to go to high school you want to graduate all it takes is one wrong turn or wrong one wrong step and you completely thrown off track and boom like you failed so you just have to really watch out for that and yeah and 
number three i'm not gonna really just like one two and i'm just kind of like winking this i'm just doing this from the top of my head so the next one do not get caught up in the wrong crowd don't get caught up in the wrong crowd because i'm telling you it's so many it's so many kids that get caught up with the wrong crowd like you get caught up in the wrong crowd and you do one little thing you like oh i didn't go in effect i just did this or i just tried this or we just did this anything you do in the dark will come to the light and i know everybody make mistakes you know we're teenagers and we want to like like we curious or whatever but just don't get caught up in the wrong crowd and don't do something that you know you can't go back and change like don't do something that's bad to the point where you're like i can never change that like don't do stuff that's gonna change you in like a way that you know you can't fix it um the next thing is don't wait on nobody don't wait on nobody what i mean by that is you're going to high school because you for your future and what you want to do do not wait on someone to give you what you want like for example you going to high school right everybody wants to be something when they get older rapper writer singer doctor or lawyer nurse like don't wait on someone to say oh you gotta make this turn or you gotta do this or you gotta go this way oh no you can't do that you gotta do this don't wait on nobody you do what you know is best for you now your parents can give you some good you know advice or whatever but it's your life and you know what you want to do and at the end of the day of course you're going to do what you want to do it's your life so just always remember you can't listen to your parents they give you a lot of good advice but do not lose vision of what you want to do do not let anyone plan your future because it's your future if you let other people plan your future then it's not going to be fun like it's not going to be like fun you're not going to be living your best life you're going to be living somebody else's life so plan your own destiny don't let nobody else plan your destiny period you go to high school to what to learn you go to high school for what to do what you want to do so you can get paid and for you so you can get paid for doing something that you like to do so yeah that's what i'm saying and um next um uh, don't get into drama mm -mm. stay out of drama stay out of drama because like i said before drama will most definitely throw you off track drama will throw you off track if you don't have to be in drama do not be in drama i'm telling you like people it's gonna be people in high school that try you or try to try you ignore try to ignore as much as possible because i know like girls would be like oh she's scared you know she ain't about it and you know my exact response would be you right i'm not about it because i'm not about that drama life i'm not about that quick to turn up life but i'm not saying don't turn up because sometimes you're gonna have to turn up on it's gonna be a person to try you have to turn up but like don't be so quick to turn up like if it's situations that you could prevent prevent as much as you can because you want to be the quietest laid backest person in high school so you want to be like you want a person to be like like for example like that Alasia girl, she's so quiet. And then a person be like, who is that? Like, that's good if don't nobody know you. If you real, real known in high school, it's not always a good thing. Because if you like known for fighting or you known for being loud, it's, just, it's not a good look, especially in high school. Cause then when you go out of college, they go, mm. so just watch out for that. And in order to be successful, my biggest thing is to have faith in yourself in high school like me for example i didn't always have faith in myself like my faith would always get knocked down like y'all know y'all know more than anybody y'all know what i'm talking about if you are my down subscribers and you watch every single video you know exactly what i'm talking about sometimes when certain things happen in your life certain tribulations certain like 
things where you're like, oh my gosh, like again, like, come on now, why is everything going wrong? You know, just your biggest thing, this is, this is for high school. I don't know some of my subscribers, like some of my subscribers have all types of different religion, but whatever you believe in, you know, have deep faith. Never, God is the key for, for getting through high school always know that god is on your side always pray to god every day because god is the only person that could you know that could get you to graduate god is the only person that is waking you up in the morning giving you strength to keep going and never let things some things are going to happen in high school some things are going to be you're going to be like oh my gosh like, this is so hard you know work is going to be hard people like you have to deal with certain people you don't like that's gonna be hard teachers they gonna be you know you ain't gonna like all of them that's gonna be hard but never lose sight of what you're there for that's what i always think about like i'm like oh i hate high school like i didn't get to go to the high school i wanted to go to like oh my i hate high school, I hate high school but once it all boils down and i really think about it it's really what you make out of it like come on now like does it really matter what high school i'm going to because after high school guess where everybody going everybody's gonna do what they want to do when everybody graduates when it all boils down we all we all can get the same jobs we all can do the same things some people go farther than others so it's like we all going for something to graduate we're all graduating for what to get good jobs we all want to get good jobs for what because that's what we want to do so it's like whatever you know so that's really a lot um you don't want to you do not want to have like a name at high school you don't want people to know you or remember you like you don't want to have a bad reputa reputation 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 you do not want to have a bad reputation in high school. And let me tell you why. If you have a bad a bad reputation in high school, it's gonna make things very hard because everybody's gonna be constantly talking about you. You probably nine times out of ten gonna get bullied, and it's just gonna be it's gonna make high school harder than what it has to be. And it's already hard because you gotta you gotta focus on this work. You gotta focus on keeping everything together. You gotta focus on getting this work in on time. You gotta focus on keeping your grades up. You gotta think about exams. You gotta think about, you know, mm -mm. you don't need the extra stuff. Like, stay to yourself as much as you can. It's good to have like one or two friends. It's not good to have, really have a whole lot of friends. But if you just like that popular type like me. Girl, bye. Side. So if you like that that type thing you know everybody knows and stuff that's good that's good but if you know that a lot of people know you be careful what you do be careful who you hang out with be careful who the what boys you talk to just be careful because and especially be careful like keep your enemies close and your friends closer because your friends the ones that you think is your friends they be the main ones hating on you. They be the main ones that want to see you lose. They be the main ones that want to see you fall, want to see you cry, want to see you down. So just always pay attention to the people that you call your friends because they're smiling your face, but really they just want you to lose. The realest one on your team, I'm telling y'all, is God. That's the person that's never going to give up on you. That's the person that sees the good in you and your parents. Like those are your number one fans those are your number one supporters and you should always you know listen and take advice from them especially in in other situations if you don't have both of your parents in your corner anybody anybody could be your supporter anybody could be there for you and or whatever but friends they're cool you you run into people you know good friends out here but you also you also have to um pay attention to that because a lot of people out here that that want to see you that want to see you girl bye sign off but yeah I really 
really think that's it. If you really listen to what I said and um, that stuff, if y'all can hear that stuff in the background, that's my dad. He back there doing whatever he doing. But if you listen to what I said, you will be successful in high school. Don't ever try to keep up with the next person. Um, freshmen going into high school, don't even worry about it. Like if you if you think, oh, all my friends going to this high school, all my friends going to this high, go to the high school that you feel you're gonna be successful. Don't try to go to a high school just because all your friends going there or it's cool there or my boyfriend going there. That's where you're going wrong because it's not good to make those type of decisions because if you make those type of decisions, those are the wrong decisions. Go to the high school that you feel is going to make you successful and that you know you can get a good diploma and be right. So if you follow what I gave y'all I know it's a whole bunch of more you know tips how to be successful in high school I'm just giving y'all some of my tips that I tried to use to get through freshman year because freshman year for me was so hard it was it was really hard but I pushed through it and it's summer and I'm about to be a sophomore and I'm just so happy that I made it through and I'm just getting stronger and I know that God is on my side. I'm just getting stronger. I'm zooming through it and I'm smiling and living my best life. And school next year, I'm going to just push through it again. And I'm going to just keep going all the way up to senior year. Then I graduate. Boom, it's going to be here before you know it. And another thing about high school is it goes fast. It's going to be here before you know it. Literally, it's going to be here before you snap a finger and you graduate high school go real like really fast so enjoy the little moments the little moments where you like oh, this is the worst moment of my life enjoy it because you don't get those years back you don't get those high school years back you don't get your teenage years back you're only gonna be a teenager one one time so you know just live it up to the fullest and try to enjoy little moments because little moments turn into big memories and it's always a thing that you could look back on and stuff play sports you know be in choir sing do whatever you want to do in your interest whatever is in your interest do it it's gonna make high school go by so quick keep your mind busy keep yourself busy like really really busy so you don't have to think about everything and don't stress yourself out too much about high school. It's really not that deep. Don't stress too much because if you stress too much, it's just gonna, you just gonna, it's just not good and it's not gonna make your high school fun. So try to have little stress. I know when exams and stuff come up, you're like, oh my gosh, like, oh my gosh, it's like never gonna stop. But just think about it. It's gonna be over soon. It's gonna be over pretty soon. It's gonna be over fast. So don't think about it don't think about it too much um just keep on zooming through high school going fast it went fast for me like i can't believe freshman year is already over and i'm about to be a sophomore i still can't believe that but it's going by real fast and just you know i'm just moving on through it and everything is just good for real so um that's the end of my video about how um high school tips and how to be successful in what and what not to do um always remember just keep studying study hard when tests are close um always make sure you have good relationship with all your with all your teachers don't be the bad student be the you know teacher's pet it's a good look and stay out of drama as much as you can those are three majors that's all i can say those are the three majors and don't let a boy take you off your grind don't let a boy distract you to where you want another role you want the same road as him and y'all both you know so that is the end of my video and i hope that all my bbws remember if they ain't hating then baby girl you not slaying and always stay late be squad and it's gonna be so more video so many more videos to come y'all way you know i do a new video every single friday and i have some really good news for y'all i've been working on something and i can't wait to share it with y'all and i can't wait to post it on my channel so all y'all can see because i know i got some new subscribers and it's really making me happy i'm at 170 that's really not a lot but i mean i can only go up right i can't go down i can only go up so um i'm on my way
on the road to 200 and if y'all get me to that like before the end of this month i would love y'all forever share with your friends tell everybody to come watch me because you know i'm funny or whatever this video really wasn't fun because we had to talk about school and it's like summer break like really like really but it was a request and um i want all y'all to know do not let nobody take over your dreams do not do not let nobody blind you for where you want to go follow your own dreams stay on your own road no distractions no drama you cool i want all, all of y'all to be successful i want all of y'all to be happy and i want all of y'all to live your best life flat out so all my big beautiful women keep slaying so yeah i want y'all to all enjoy y'all friday i love every single one of y'all like comment subscribe on this video and go check out my last video it's gonna be at the end of this video i love y'all and keep slaying stay late b squad and until next time bye y'all <laughs> even know your middle name watch her cause she might steal your chain you don't want someone who love you instead i guess not though it's blame disrespect you